Welcome back to The Cottage, everyone. Today's video is going to be a bit more casual and laid back, maybe even like a vlog style type of video. And I'm doing this intentionally because I feel like a lot of my recent content has become very formal. I have lots of lists and tips and rules for minimalism in particular, and I just don't want to convey that minimalism is so um, set and formal and robotic and strategic. It's really just a mindset, and even though we live a minimalist life and I have that mindset, my days are far from robotic. I have just a regular, typical life, just like all of you, and I thought it would be fun to bring you along on a day here. Um, it's my day off, but I have some things I need to tend to here at the cottage, and I thought I'd bring you along and just share my day. So I hope you enjoy this video. One of the first things I'm going to get to today is putting away my dishes. And yes, I do a reset almost every single night unless I'm physically exhausted, but I let my dishes air dry. And so in the morning, I need to take a little bit of time, just a couple of minutes, and put all the dishes away so the kitchen is fully reset for the day. It doesn't matter how minimalistic a family or a person tries to live, there's always going to be things that need to be cleaned on a regular basis. And today, one of my tasks is going to be cleaning off these stairs because when I was getting my kids ready for school, I noticed there's a lot of hair and dirt on them. So I'm going to sweep that up right away and get that taken care of. Okay, I wanna share this with you guys. I've got these little seedlings here. These are habanero peppers, I believe, and they have a longer growing season than what Minnesota will allow in the summertime. And so my husband and kids really wanted these hot peppers, and so I had to start them as seeds indoors. And with this big window here, they've been really thriving. And I think that some of them are getting really too big for these little starter pods. So I'm going to transplant them into larger containers and then hopefully in maybe a few weeks we can bring them outdoors and actually plant them in the garden if the weather cooperates. I'm really only transplanting the ones that have the roots that kind of have started to escape the little seedling balls. And um, some of the smaller ones, like this one here, I'm just gonna leave those in these little pots for now. And um, maybe they'll make it, maybe they won't. I'm not really sure. It's This is my first year ever doing seed starters. And I don't know, we'll see how this goes, I guess. I definitely love having this big farmhouse sink that really helps make this process a lot easier. I'm not making a giant mess all over the counters. So, thankful for that. I'm probably gonna end up with way more habanero peppers than I'm gonna know what to do with. So if you have any salsa recipes or any other dishes that call for hot, spicy peppers, if you could leave me a comment down below, I would really appreciate that. I need to sit down for a little while today and work on a volunteer project that I'm involved in. Our church is looking at doing a remodel and expansion, and so I need to work on some plans for that. 
and my day off is also going to allow me a little bit of time to pay bills, sign permission slips, and take care of any other correspondence and scheduling things that I may have put off or that may have fallen through the cracks throughout the rest of the week. All right, I've been going for a while now and I feel like it's time for a refuel. So I'm gonna whip up some avocado toast. My husband does work from home, so I'm gonna make some for him as well. And we'll sit down to eat a quick lunch together. I may very well jinx myself with what I'm planning to do next, but I'm ready to wash the snow pants. I have been burned by this in the past where I decide that winter's over and I wash the snow pants and then we get another huge snowstorm, but it's the end of April now and anything that might come out of the sky from here on out, it should melt fairly quickly. Um, I'm just over winter, so I'm gonna get all the kids' snow pants from the garage, throw them in the wash, and just be done with it. For those of you who have been asking how the little mudroom area is holding up out in the garage, it's performing quite well. We have plenty of spots for shoes and everybody for the most part remembers to put them back in their rightful places and when the kids get home from school some of them will hang their coats up there so yeah we really are still loving the way that it turned out. All right, I'm not sure if your kids go through this or not, but when the weather starts getting nicer outside, mine like to jump automatically to the summer clothes. So they've been pulling out their shorts and their t-shirts. And I'm starting to notice that a lot of these things no longer fit them anymore. They've grown a lot this last year. So I'm gonna be doing right now just a really quick pass through their dresser and their closets and just find anything that doesn't fit set it aside and make a list of any gaps that I'm finding in their wardrobes. Um, I've done an entire video about how I seasonally declutter their clothes and I will link that down below if that's something that you are interested in watching. Since it is a little bit nicer out today and the sun is trying to shine, I think I'm gonna go outside for a bit, do a few outdoor chores, maybe do a little bit of raking, get some of those dry leaves out of the grass so the grass can grow better and sweep off the porch maybe, just get things ready for spring. Another reason I wanted today's video to be more casual is that I want you to get to know me and my personality a bit better. And I also want to get to know you better. I see a lot of new subscribers have recently joined this channel and I'm so thankful and grateful that you're here. I would love it if you could comment down below letting me know how you found my channel 
and also let me know if there's any specific content or video topics that you'd like me to explore in the future. And of course a day off wouldn't be complete without a little bit of relaxation and so I'm going to sit down on my couch for a while and play one of my favorite phone app games. This is called Match 3D and my husband and kids tease me about it because they say it's basically a virtual decluttering cleaning game, which I guess in some ways it kind of is. Well, it's about time for me to go pick the kids up from school, so I'm going to end the video here. The rest of the night, we just have homework, studying for a couple tests tomorrow, and um, one of our older sons has a track meet that he's going to be at that's in a different town. And Craig and I actually are going to be going to, to a movie on a little date night, and so we're looking forward to that as well. I enjoyed bringing you along with me today as I tackled some miscellaneous things here at the cottage. I hope that it gave you a little bit of a different perspective into minimalism, just showing that it's not all routine all the time. There's just a natural fluid motion to our days just like anybody else's. So thank you so much for watching today and I hope that you'll stop by the cottage again really soon.